Uh, I'm extremely excited. Um, obviously, it's a fresh challenge. It's, uh, a lot of new guys I've met today, which has been fantastic. Uh, you know, fair to the guys. The guys have been uh, really welcoming and really warming. Um, so yeah, it's been a quite, quite a nice uh, seamless transition, to be honest. Uh, moving from London all the way up to Manchester now. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited to, to, to get out and playing. But um, obviously, I had my first training session today, so it was uh, a little bit colder up here. But um, I've, been, I've enjoyed it so far. So yeah, just looking forward to getting stuck in really. Just looking to the future, Marlon, obviously I've got to ask you, any sort of particular hopes and ambitions looking forward, both perhaps in the short term for the next few months as you settle in and perhaps longer term as well? I think just in the short term, just, just solely focusing on doing as well as I can for, for, for sale really. Um, you know, just carrying on the, the good form of had so far this season and just trying to implement that in this team and, and try to help this team as much as I can. Um, I want to go out and perform and do as well as I can. Um, so this team's been doing fantastically well, especially in the attack uh, so far this season. I think they're in the top two in the attack and stats. So obviously, uh, uh, this is a team that's um, you know very excited about you know, throwing the ball about and wanting to score tries, which is you know, fantastic for someone in my position anyway. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited to, to get involved and, and play games for this club. Um, I know the long-term goal is to, to, to get ourselves into that top four and, win, and winning the, the Premiership. So, um, you know, it's just going to take it game by game and, and see where we are um, moving forward. Absolutely. I mean, I think a lot of people would buy into what you said there because, I mean, Sale have been renowned for their attacking style of play, particularly over the past couple of seasons. And as you've said, the, the ride up there in terms of try scoring statistics in the Premiership. And I mean, having someone like yourself on board, I think a lot of the supporters are genuinely excited. And I guess for someone like yourself to fit in with a lot of the uh, the guys who are already here, it must be quite a great prospect for you. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I've, I've had the pleasure of playing with you know, Mike Haley and and Will Allison and Mark Jennings when I was younger as well, and also obviously James O'Connor at London Irish. I've played with him for you know six to eight months, so um, you know, we've got quite a good understanding there. So that's going to help, especially in the attack side of things. Um, you know, he's been helping me with certain things, you know, off the field just to to, to, to learn as quickly as possible, and that's also part partly my responsibility as well, and to try to learn everything as quickly as possible. I mean, it's not going to be easy uh, learning different calls and then a different style of play, but um, hopefully you know, I can really get that transition a, a lot quicker. Um, and I'm working really hard now with the players and coaches just to make sure I'm you know, looking ahead that I'm, I can you know, make that change a lot as smooth as, smooth as possible. Um, I think you know, I'm just excited about playing, playing my first game and getting out there and, and enjoying playing with the new guys here as well. Playing quite a lot of uh, you know, the big games in, in, in the Premiership and, and in Europe and, and moving into the international scene. So you know, hopefully I can help a lot of the young guys, especially in my position like Paolo and stuff, um, just try to pass on that knowledge and also look to you know, take that, take a good role in, in trying to make sure I'm performing as well as I can for this team and, and give my all. Um, I expect nothing less for myself. Um, and I put a lot of pressure on myself to perform and, um, and it's a massive responsibility now and a massive exciting challenge me come to this team um, with players I haven't really played with before um, and just showing them what I can do and um, you know it's a good chance for me to, to put on the sales shirt and, and make a mark for myself. Just going to say it's early days yet but I mean early impressions of, of the club settling in and also the area so obviously it's, that's always a big challenge isn't it coming from a different city like London up to Manchester as well. Yeah of course obviously the city's a bit smaller <laughs> um, and there's a lot more uh, smaller villages on the outside. Uh, Obviously, we're in a quieter, quieter area out here, which is which is nice. Um, yeah, it's been it's been nice settling in. Um, just coming into the changing room this morning, you know, getting ready and, and moving out. And, but it's been a quite a busy, active day today in terms of our preparation uh, for this game on Friday. But um, yeah, look, it's, it's been it's I've tried I've tried to get everything to my stride so far, and it's been brilliant so far. The guys run this club, um, so it's been great. So I'm just looking forward to, to carrying on training and, and and hopefully play again pretty soon. You mentioned uh, James, who obviously you played with when you were together at London Irish, and I guess that obviously helps coming into a new environment where you've got a few familiar faces there, and you also alluded to some of the other guys that perhaps you know from the past as well, so that's going to make the settling in process a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, most players in youth clubs you know, tend to know a few players on the team anyway, and you know, the rugby world's not so as big as it is, as, as it looks. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been great. Um, like I said you know, before, you know, I chose to want to want to come to sell. You know, James told me how great it was up here and and how much of a, an impact I can I can make up here as well. So it helped in my decision to come here as well, and it's it's been great so far. Um, you know, training and playing with the guys today. So um, 
like I'm really excited. I'm gonna be here for a while, so I'm really looking forward to um, bonding and, and buying into the, the whole team thing here, and, and hopefully now we can really push on and, and get some wins. Obviously, uh, you're only 25, but you've, you've packed an awful lot into your career so far. But I mean, hopefully, I mean, you yeah, know, the best years are very much ahead of you yet, and, and you know, your best is yet to be produced. Yeah, of course. I mean, I never want to think of myself as a finished article. I think you always got to strive to improve and get better. Um, you know, the game's getting tougher um, year on year, so you just got to make sure that you're, you're giving it, doing everything you can to keep improving all the time. There's one, two percenters in, in various parts, parts of your game. Um, but it's also important as well not to forget your strengths as well. You know, what, what creates as players you are and, and how you can make that into super strengths and just keep keep pushing and, and trying to better that as well. So, um, you know, obviously, you know, being 25 as well, I'm probably you know, starting to get into my prime on my career now. So, you know, the next five years are going to be um, are really exciting and I'm really looking forward to, to starting life here and, and hopefully now I can really push on and, and carry on some of that good form from the start of the season. Just finally, long term, obviously on the horizon there's the 2019 World Cup and I mean I guess for you and every ambitious uh, English player that's at the back of your mind that if you if you play well and obviously help the side to be successful there's a potential there going forward of perhaps going yeah being in Eddie Jones's thoughts for Japan. Yeah of course um, you know, I was in, in a squad before before the recent one so um, yeah everyone wants to be part of that that's a fantastic occasion um, the way the England side is rising at the moment it's a It'll be a, a, a great opportunity for you to be a part of a potential winning World Cup side. So um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a massive focus for everyone in the long term. Looking forward to that. But I think you know right now I don't want to think too far. It's, it's a short term. Um, I've got to focus game by game, especially being part of a new team and, and learning to play with these guys and join these guys as quickly as possible. I think that's my main focus um, moving forward. Um, you know, I've been in contact with Eddie, so um, I know exactly what he expects from me, and you know he just wanted me to solely focusing on trying to settle in here as quickly as possible and get some rugby on my belt and you know if I'm back performing well then you know you'll have a look at me again so um, I was just solely focusing on make sure I'm doing all I can and start life here on, 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 a, on a rise.